two of us for three years now. mentality that uh, while you're out there and driving, it doesn't matter if you're driving a school bus or a city bus, everybody out there sees you as a professional driver. So you're always in the public's uh, eye and they hold you to a totally different standard than what they would be doing in their own personal vehicles. Uh, for example, if you're driving a city bus and you have passengers on the, on the bus, they would hold you to a higher standard of driving and they would expect you not to be doing uh, certain things that any normal driver in their vehicle would be doing, such as distracted driving, playing with their phone, drinking and driving, it doesn't matter. And I don't mean drinking and driving like drinking alcohol and driving, I mean drinking any type of beverage, water, a bottle of water, a coffee or anything like that while you are driving. Um, as a professional driver, you also have to log your hours. When you normally drive, you don't think of it. You go out, go to the store, come back, whatever. You don't think, okay, how many hours am I actually spending outside driving, being alert, trying to stay safe on the road? Versus, am I, did I get enough sleep? Did I get enough rest to actually be safe?
seen plenty of people who have come and gone. Um, most places, if they're school bus places, they'll offer you your training uh, in advance and they'll offer to train you, get you up to a B-class license or anything like that. We see a lot of people come through these uh, school bus companies, get their B-class license, don't bother to stay around and drive for that company just to get the experience or anything like that. Go straight to a company like Grand River Transit, which is a local transit. Uh, so <music>